Hello, welcome to Flavor Town. Welcome to IMHO. <laughs> In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P stands for polka dots. Mm -hmm. Trying to learn. There's a lot of polka dots in these shows we're reviewing. Now, I haven't seen that trend come up on fashion TikTok. You know, I'm very young and very fashionable, but um, I trust the girls. We are reviewing season 14, episode 2, the second part in the Split premiere. Have you ever seen that movie Split with, um, uh, uh, the, you know, well, Anya Taylor Joy's in it, Big Eyes. I love her. You've never seen Split? No, but have you ever it's seen the, the one movie about the guy Big with Eyes? all the different. No. Did I tell you something disgusting? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Split. Well, it's a, it's um it's the hot yes. guy, the Scottish guy, yes. with all the personals. I didn't see that because of my own personals that I'm dealing with. Oh, you watch that, and I'll watch. Most Big of Eyes. my personalities don't like me. Big eyes. Can I tell you this? Please. Curtis and I watched it. Okay. One of my favorite things to do. This is very true. Very now. I love staycations. I love literally leaving my house and paying someone to let me stay at their hotel room. Not like someone, like not an individual, but like a hotel. Curtis and I, for like anniversaries and stuff, because we're both so busy, we're just, ugh, we're so local. We can't go anywhere, so sometimes we'll splurge and get like a nice hotel room for a night, and then we don't leave the hotel room. We just stay there and like eat, eat chips and butt stuff. Oh, the Thompson Hotel downtown Chicago. I have to say, if you ever have the opportunity to stay at the Thompson, it's lovely. It is gorgeous. And so we decided to order a movie on the TV. Dirty movie? Well, big eyes could be dirty, depending on how you oh, feel about eyes. eyes and holes. Well, no, that one would be big guys. Yes. We rented Big Eyes for like 20 bucks because it's like that you're in a hotel and you don't care. Well, that's the price of going to a movie you... nowadays. True. Oh, can we talk about the economy? So we're watching that, and then Curtis is like, we should splurge even more. Let's do mini bar. I open a beer. I get a beer out of the mini bar. Very expensive beer. $18. So $18 at least. So excited. I open it. We're watching Big Eyes. Take a swig. It was water. Somebody had opened the beer, drank <gasps> it, filled it back up with water, and put it back in the thing. Bitch! I That's drink somebody's. Brilliant. Well, no, but my lips went on their thing. I don't know what their lips are like. Maybe they're so focused on people's eyes they at that point. Into a cup. Maybe their lips never touched the bottle. I bet they were really considerate when they stole. Yeah, but anyway, at that it, point, was you're from the man. it was LOL. It was LOL, and I did call Mr. Thompson. I said, "Get Mr. Thompson on the phone," and uh, he wasn't available because it's actually Mrs. Thompson, and I was being misogynistic. <gasps> so anyway, she answered, and she said, "Hang on, I'm finishing up a roast." That wasn't misogyny. She just really needed to make one, so they gave me one for free because of you know herpes simplex virus one. Herpes what now? But that means always check and double check your beers. Listen, as a person who doesn't have a lot of experience with mini bars, I should have. Do you, do you remember when you do a lot of mini bar? You do have a lot of experience with Sorry. many bars, but M-A-N-Y. I do have a problem. <laughs> no. Yeah, 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 when Splash was mini bar. Yeah, that's all. Do you know that I went on a date with a guy that I think was owned part of mini bar, or he said he did. I was a young, or, I, Warthog. Mid middle 20. I was a young warthog. Mm -hmm. When I was a young warthog. That's the lion from Wizard of Oz singing yeah, warthog. Yeah, that was good. Singing Pimp. No, Lark. I met this guy at Hydrate once. We made out. We exchanged numbers. We went on two dates, two different cars per date. He was not old. He was like our age, but he was tall. Two and different cars. I bet they were zip cars. Well, no, because one, he kept behind the mini bar. He was like some part, I think he was like a donor or something. He donated some mini Some Coopers. money to mini bars, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. I always think about him. What happened? He oh. got a little too clean. For once, he got too clingy. And I was out with some new friends that were like, there was like it was like my first group of gay friends. Like, they introduced me to like Steamworks and Coke. And Love that. We were all hanging out one time, and he happened to be at the bar we were at. And he came over and was being a little too lovey-dovey. And I was trying to be cool to my new gay friends, uh. one of whom I was very into. And I think I just kind of like cold-shouldered him. And now then, look at you. And then ghosted. And, and now I think about him all the time, and I think that was my one opportunity to date a rich guy that was actually hot. That's depressing. 
I but, know. Listen, okay, no, no, no. Let's take it. Let's take it to a positive place. If you had dated them, maybe he would have no. bought you a, a mansion or a yacht in the Mediterranean, and we never would have met. And, and I would never would have met you. IMHO would be even more successful than it is. <laughs> I would be, oh my God, it'd be impossible. Thank you. Well, speaking of impossible, you. I love this look. Is that now, now you are, you don't eat beef. No. This is, this a, is a double protest. patty. Yeah, so listen. It almost looks like chicken though. Everything tastes like chicken. Because that looks breaded. That doesn't look like No, no, no. Meat. This is impossible meat. Or it is made. Listen, human meat, you're watching fireflies, fire fugs, fire bug, what? Yellow jackets. Are you watching Yellow Jackets? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm only a few episodes in. Can I tell you why? Liking it. Did you watch it? I'm watching it. I have one episode left. Oh, I'm only a couple episodes in because I like it, but like, it's very dark. It's heavy. I watch one episode and then I have to pray about it. Last week's episode, we got a hamburger phone, thanks to <gasps> Orion. Yes! And this episode, we get a full Guy Fieri from Maddie Morphosis. And so I thought this in is- In celebration. In celebration, I just happened to have, like when I gave up beef, I also gave up hamburgers as costumes. Yeah. And I thought, you know, this has been in the back of my closet for what? When did I give up beef? Six, seven years? So I needed to Three. break it back out. Three. What is time though? And I'm dressed, I'm wearing a polka dot blouse because trend alert polka dots for entrance looks last week with Bosco and then this week with Deja and Angeria. Before we move on from this, I just want y'all to know, Impossible Burger at Burger King, unstoppable. Delicious. So incredible, delicious. Everyone eat it. It's not good for you. Like you're not doing anything for yourself, but you did save a, a cow. Unless you ordered cheese, then that's a problem. Oh, okay. That cheese isn't real dairy. Oh, that's true. It's mo it's mostly colors. Also, I just want to say we had quite the adventure yesterday. We had a little yeah, we had a little outing. We never go out. Like Especially the, the last even before the pandemic. You know what brought it on? Okay. A few of our patrons are lovely, lovely patrons. One from Italy, not the restaurant Italy, but actually the country. They came to when did we talk about this? Was that your bingo or the live show? I don't remember. Live show because Sarah from Italy, not the country, not the, the restaurant. <sighs> she brought me a Nutella biscuits and I wasn't a Nutella girl. She had never had Nutella and that's crazy to mm -mm. me. And so I tried, of course I loved it and now I'm addicted. And the Nutella girl now. Then like Lincoln was like, yeah, there's like a Nutella cafe. And then Adriana yeah. would like, woo, cause she's so short. Like oh, she just really just kind of punches the air when she wants to make a point. And so I drunkenly was like, let's go. And we did. We went downtown to the Magnificent the, Mile and we to the had, Nutella cafe. It was real. it was fun. I, yes. I, and then we were walking. It we was wanted though, to go can I say this? I'm so sorry. Would I go back? I would go back for the friendship. Do I need to purchase a $10 jar of Nutella again? No, but worth it, every penny. Look, it says my name! It's cool, uh, just by. Thanks, Babs. We'll be auctioning this off. All proceeds go to me getting another one of these. Yeah, but it's just the case because we're, we're gonna eat the insides. Well, we have to because according to the law, you can't mail. You can't share your nut. Without consent. It was fun to do a little touristy thing because Bitch, it was then so fun. next we were gonna go to Primark because Darby loves Primark. You because all sorry. told us about America. Uh, These are Primark nails. Thank Primark you. Primark is amazing. Then we walked down and right <gasps> by the Chicago Theater. Sorry, I'm, my balance is off because my I'm very heavy uh, breaded. The patties. Yeah. Yeah. We walked by something called the Medieval Torture, Torture Museum. Museum. We all kind of giggled. And we right? giggled and we went like in. Because we're, we're all young. Like we're all Gen Z. Oh my gosh. And I'm we were like so medieval. Gen Z. Ooh, that sounds like school. I don't have to go back to school till Monday. Yeah. We walked in and I was like, what is this? And the woman working the front was. She was really sweet. She had the energy I needed. She, she was, was she like, was fun energy. It's fun. We were also you probably hyped up on sugar from the Nutella. Oh, could I say this? Nutella, never gonna be sponsored anyway, but like, don't order Nutella drinks. They're not great. Order like a regular coffee or whatever but it was like it was sugar on sugar on sugar but also not sweet but also yeah it wasn't it didn't sweet. Taste very sweet it was like but it was delicious sugar that identified as salt so we go to the medieval museum is it like an incredible museum no was it so much fun it was yes. informative it was interactive what was it your was favorite like, device it was like vacation bible school but like death 
Oh. I like the interactive ones. I'm gonna say yeah. it was a toss up between the bowl. There was a giant bowl that people put oh, yeah. other people inside and then light it from the bottom. So they're just kind of like baking in there. That was heinous. And you got Yellow to like jackets. pull the lever and lift it up to see who was burning. Yeah. And then the and other one was the Dunkowitch. You got to lift up the lever Dunkowitch. and she dunked into a barrel. I didn't do full face because I felt bad for her. I just did her hair. She didn't talk. You should have mm -hmm. done the full thing. Oh, I loved when the, they cut the guy's throat and they pulled his tongue out through the hole in his throat. The Colombian necktie. Hilarious. Yeah. Unless it's happened to you. Although that, one. although that was funny because it's the medieval torture museum, and then you get that guy who was wearing like a full '70s suit because okay. that's from like the '40s, '50s, '60s, '70s is when they used to do that a lot. Right, right, right. But according he was, to this museum, he was a medieval studies professor. I also think you liked the horse. The girl sitting on that horse. I liked it because they included the horse head. It was like torture, but like they put a little horse head on it, like a cute little toy one. And it's like, yeah. well, that's nice. That's fun. Also, we got on this thing, you get on a witch scale. Oh, it's like a, it's a witch scale. And from one side, it tells you like fun things, but on the other side, it tells you bad things. Or they all tell you good things depending on who you are and what your opinion is. Like you got, you were between a witch and a knight, which is LOL. I was a knight from my side and a witch on the other side. And then I was a goblin. Goblin yeah, on, on both sides. It's because I'm so skinny. I thought I was really short. It's because you're a cock, cock, cock goblin. I thought you were about to call me a cuck, and I was like, "Where are we going <laughs> I, with I, this?" Because you're a cuck. Can I take that back? Yeah. Because you're a cock. <laughs> why? Why do I? Because you're a beta. You can't rise to the occasion. <laughs> now what? who's the cuck? dare you what i love too I can i to say, say this not to get all political but like i love that like these like weird porn searches that lonely men would do when their wives go to sleep is now like a political name people call each other like you're such a cuck that's like something you search on Pornhub. Isn't like a cuck like isn't anything short holy? for cuckold yeah which is like porn no cuckold is like when someone wants to watch other people have oh i guess that is no it's it's cuckold is the person like the husband who's like has to watch his wife Get fucked. Yeah. But like in a good way. Like she's loving it. He's loving it. And a cuck is like what we call... The guy. Or a liberal snowflake. Honestly, I don't know. The other thing that was so fun about that day is it was also Mama's birthday. <gasps> IMHO's yes! resident coloring queen. Yes. Some of you may have bought Mama's artwork from us before. And she has literally not stopped talking about it. It's her business. Her health's not doing great. But nothing like for any reason, just cause like her body's like, are we done? She's lived in, she's lived a long She's lived a very life. long life and she's very, very funny, which helps her to live longer. Yeah. You know, they, they say, if you tell a joke, the Grim Reaper, he hates jokes. He has a terrible sense of humor. He won't come for you cause he won't understand it. You say knock, knock and he goes, not again. Yeah. And then he kills your neighbor. I've, I have found that the same when I'm trying to get guys to come. If I tell jokes, they won't. <laughs> So anyway, if you've ordered some coloring pages from Mama, hold on to them because oh, they are going to be worth something. Be worth something. No, she's not dying. She just can't remember a lot of things. I'm sorry, I didn't or, and her to say kidneys that. don't work great. Anyway, so she had to spend. Who does have good working kidneys? Right, not diabetic. Does that affect your kidneys? Hello. So she had to spend her birthday in the hospital. So I sent her some flowers that were beautiful, and so she saw them and she goes to my mom, "Give me a pen and paper." I want to draw these. And so Aww. she started to draw, like she's done nothing since she's been in the hospital and suddenly the art, it hit her again. She was like, she was writing like art. And then she needed mom to bring the flowers closer because she needed to count all of the flowers because she didn't want to draw too much. She said, I don't want to draw too much. Mm -hmm. So she was counting the flowers. Isn't that precious? But she you doesn't know how old she card, is. Didn't you? Happy birthday, mama. And I do actually, I do still have some coloring pages she sent me. I should get those out before the prices skyrocket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, we are also celebrating not just the birth of my grandmother, but also the win of Crimson. Congratulations. She won Painted, Painted with Raven. With Raven. I, what did she win? Can you just do robot voice? And, mm -hmm. and I smell my own farts for sexual yeah, gratification. That fun. Yeah. Congratulations, Crimson. Congratulations. I, so I think she, well, she competed uh, as out of drag, Matt. Matt. Yeah. But Crimson. Hot. So Crimson came on my radar during the TikTok, you know, in the, the pandemic. We all got right. on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And I started to see this person and I was like, uh, first of all, how dare you? I'm offended. Yeah. For 
being so good. So good. And um, I'm I'm happy that success is reaching her. I know. I mean, we always knew it would. Yeah. But congratulations. Congratulations. You that... know she came to our live show. Yeah, I was there. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, speaking of congratulations, we have we a have lot to get into of we, new because it is our it is the time. It is. We're in episode two. Of Great this. transition. First in is gorgeous, 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 oh gorgeous. God. Get a, out of here. A beautiful, stunning red. I mean, red feathers, mm -mm. inches. This is a great look. She's gorgeous. She knows it is. She is because it's in yeah. her name. She also, she's this big. Yeah, yeah. I'm really, so. Proportions. I, perfect. Yeah, proportions what are it, amazing. It's like, it's like they built a real tall, like human, and then they were like, Let's make it a baby. But they didn't change the proportions. It's all great. Yeah, I'm jealous of her. It's great. I'm mad at her. Up next, Deja Sky from Northern her. Fresno, California. Yeah, look, polka dots. Yeah, she looks beautiful. I love Painted her face. Painted beach. I love the way she paints. The you thought it was funny, though, is that as soon as she gets in there, when Georges was like, where are you from? And she's like, Fresno. <laughs> I was like, girl, <laughs> you have to go back there. You can't say it like that. Well, maybe. Fresno was like an armpit. <laughs> Bitch, I hope you're ready to move. Next is Jasmine Kennedy. Jasmine Kennedy, a little showgirl dancing pony. Adorable out of drag. Did you see the meme Ugh, where it was her and Bosco so and it's Mary-Kate and Ashley? Yeah. I didn't want to like her, but after this episode, I do. Oh, I know. I adore her. She's a very specific... Because of my own personal jealousy. No, we got that. That was clear. She's got her own style. It's not necessarily mine, but it's done very, very well. But out of drag, yeah. Jesus Christ, what a gorgeous, gorgeous human being. Okay, let's talk about the reason for the season. It's Maddie Morphosis in this flavor town. <sighs> Straight pride. Straight pride. Guy Straight Fietti. Pride. I was obsessed with the sunglasses. Straight pride. Oh, the opera glasses, the sunglasses. The opera glasses, sunglasses is iconic. She has set herself up very clearly as the queen of camp. We will have a lot to say about her throughout the season, I'm sure, because she's just... I mean, just, it's camp so far. She's, she's, listen. Did you see, <laughs> did you see her today? It was a, just a close-up video of her flats, and then she lifted one yeah. up, and it was, painted she painted red. <laughs> Yeah. If I ever said anything bad about her earlier, I changed my mind. I know I did. didn't. Listen, I, I, I no, I didn't. I, she has created a stir, and I'm so excited to explore this. Listen, she, yeah. I'm a huge fan, especially after this episode. Okay, let's talk about the outfit first. Cute I'm sorry. Outdrag. Very cute outfit. Love the Guy Fieri thing. I will say, little disappointed in you, Maddie. <sighs> sorry, I'm sh like I'm sh shaking. Can you see it in my burger? She said Guy Fieri. Wait, is it at Fieri? Fieri. Fie Fieri. Fieri, ma'am. Listen, I know you're from Arkansas, but no. We put some respect on his name. He has almost, ki no, he's definitely killed his hair for you and me. Can I say? Stoned. Since the Stone Cold Steve Austin, another one of Maddie's inspirations, I'm sure. Can I say, <laughs> since the cast has been announced and there was a lot of the like, oh God, a straight person, blah, 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 blah. She is handling it with such humor and grace and I'm on board. Yeah. I think if this is Flavortown, I'd like to pay a visit I'm, one day. I, and I've tasted it and I, Sure. What else do you do in Flavortown? Mustard? Let's talk about Angeria Paris Van Michaels. Mm -mm. Another polka dot queen. Mm -mm. Adorable. Mm -mm. Adorable. Star. Instant yeah. star. Instant star. I'm in and out of drag. So obsessed with her. Yeah. Listen, Atlanta girls, they do it different. She's beautiful, charming, comfortable on camera comfortable. already. I can't. The proportions of her face in drag, it's like a gorgeous cartoon character. Like people, cartoon, big eyes, or, I saw big eyes in Thompson Hotel once. Should I watch that tonight? It's really good. I think you'd like it. You know what? I, I know you don't like Amy Adams. I don't not like her. I don't always get on board. You know what I mean? You know what I am on board with though. <laughs> Angie. All right, let's go to Miss Lady Camden. Alexis. Yeah? What do you have to say about Lady Camden? Because I know you're jealous of her. 
Because she's British. She's British. And yeah, yeah. She's adorable. Love. This isn't my style, but I like her. I'm ready to see what else she's got. 100% agree. Not my style, but like Jojo Siwa in 15 yeah. years. Loved. Yeah, I, yeah, and her yeah. personality. She's so funny. And she's... I'm, I'm very much excited for what we're going to see from her. Absolutely. And finally, Miss Diabetti. Oh. Diabetti looking Love so a hard cool. Bang. Love a hard bang. Punk rock. Love a hard bang. Business it's casual. Clean. Clean. Clean yeah. bangs. Now, she out of drag. Is... E easy on the eyes out of drag. Yeah. Yeah. From Springfield, no. Who, I, didn't she recently move to Chicago? Or is I heard that something about... that we're making up? I haven't I seen her. She moved... I'm looking around. I thought she was going to... Daya. Check your insulin, bitch. Yeah, you're alienating all of our diabetic... <laughs> Mama. Mama's diabetic. Really? And it was her birthday, and she's diabetic, so... Relatable. I love this entrance look. I thought she looked great. Super cute. Yeah. Super cute. Then we get right into it. It's mm -hmm. a photo shoot. Deja Sky is up first. RuPaul has a moment of, this isn't enough Tic Tacs, and she throws them at the wall. Yeah. Weird. Weird. What would you do if the host of the show came on? Because I will say this, Emmy Award winning hostess RuPaul, for the first few lines, I kind of bought it because she yeah. it, it was kind of lower. Then, of course, it, it, it took a turn. It went down a VH1 lane that I wasn't ready for. But at first I was like, ooh, wait, is she mad that there's not enough Tic Tacs? Like, Deja yeah, just went... She did yeah. a good job just being cute and like sitting there. I, yeah, I would have been like, oh, is, is, is this real? Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. Move that wall and it's a giant bowl of Tic Tacs. And it's a house. Orange Tic Tacs. Ty Pennington is holding a house made of Tic Tacs. I want to get in there. I want to get in there. They do Patch Adams. Remember when the old lady gets in the noodles? Oh, so sad. Gone too soon. Yeah, yeah, Both yeah. Both of them. Also, Bruno. Bruno's back. Bruno's the ho I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to say this. I'm sorry to do this. But oh, yeah. Bruno's the hottest pick. Remember, I love him. And he wasn't in episode one. So to see him in episode two just gives me hope. It, um, it shows the producers are listening. The winner was, of course, Angeria Paris Van Michaels delivering a, a gorgeous Gorge. photo. What would your first instinct be? I would want to, to bury... I would want to bury myself, like, full just head out. But did you see how shallow it actually was? Yeah, so I would try to get as much as I could, and then I would ask if I could eat them. Huh. And then I would just do, like, hungry, hungry hippo, like... Oh, that would be funny. I would choke would on one, do? and then I would threaten to sue, and then I'd automatically win the season. Oh, the weirdest part of this... Oh? ...was oh. when poor Maddie... Yes. Pulled out Santino's hat. Santino's <laughs> newsboy Kangol, and what'd you call it? Kangol. It's a brand of hats. Kangol. I think so. You're such a fucking Kangol. Like hang sometimes. kangaroo. And she couldn't have picked the worst person because Maddie was like not. She's not as quick on the. Here's what it is. But I like it. It's You're charming. It feels oh like a real God. person. I'm, listen, Stop moving I'm about to make a so scramble. Much. Maddie is in a situation that cannot feel comfortable. And I'm sorry, I'm very much a straight ally here. She's already kind of feeling out of place. So I think to put her in any sort of situation where she has to play up something or think on her toes. I understand the first yes, episode, she's, she's people like... people don't have toes. Well, they've evolved past that. All they yeah. need are their fingers. But pus... Angeria wins $2,500. And then they get the news that... They are going to be doing the CNT talent show, Charisma Nerve Talent Show. I saw that last week. We do have a bit of a Rue walk around. We got D-dragging. You know, there's always D-dragging. We get a Rue walk around. This is when we really get into Rue just fully outing him. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Diabetti, straight ally. Let's, yeah, let's yeah, yeah. wave the flag. What's a straight ally flag? NASCAR. Let's wave a NASCAR <laughs> For Diabetti, straight yeah. ally, not outing her. Thank you so much. But then Rue's like, sup, straighty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not in those words, but pretty close. I think that Maddie is, and I'm giving Maddie a lot of credit, and I think that's because I'm dressed you as like a hamburger. Underdog. Oh. And I do. There's a lot of queer trauma at the hands of straight men that we as viewers are all kind of throwing on her. God, I feel like... Truly. Should I go watch football right now? Why am I so straight? It's a lot to take on to be in this safe space, this queer space, and be like, I'm the type of person that created most of your trauma. LOL. The only thing that could make it worse if she was like, I'm also a pastor. Yeah, and I'm also your dad. 
<laughs> and I don't get you, son. I don't get you. It also made me laugh when Rue was talking to Diabetty about how she could pass out at any moment. So, so you could pass out. Like, <laughs> she's willing it. She's like wanting it to happen. Oh, Rue. There's a dog on TikTok very young named Darby. Somebody sent this to oh. me. Whoever sent it to me, thank you so much. He's a diabetic support dog. So he would go up to Daya, and then if her blood sugar's too high, Darby hits the hand up, and if it's too low, they hit the hand down. How does she know if it's high she or low? She smells it. <gasps> Dogs can smell a That's lot. That's witchcraft. Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, it's definitely hot. Yeah, I would burn it. Speaking of burn at the stake, I got a gorgeous picture of me and Joan of Arc at the Torture Museum. Then it's the next day, and they're getting ready for their main challenge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, after last week, when Lizzo had the cutest little pop-in meet and greet kind of moment, <laughs> oh, yeah. we hear a voice and everyone can't locate it. And then over in the corner of this <laughs> mirror, like Clippy, just, she just, Alicia Keys just pops up behind the mirror and goes, hi ladies. <laughs> like, so weird. Yeah. Loved it. I mean, the COVID, you know, for Yeah, yourself. yeah, no, that was good. But um, so funny. Alicia so Keys funny. pops up behind the Alicia mirror. Keys, icon, legend. Star. Um, and famously, someone who doesn't wear makeup. So it's even more funny that she's here on the oh, drag yeah. show. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, in the makeup mirror. In the make Literally <laughs> inside the makeup mirror. They're like, well, if you're not going to use it for makeup, we're yeah. going to use you. And then my favorite part of the whole thing, I'm such an asshole. My favorite part of the whole thing was when the lights went out, when it was like, goodbye. And the over. <laughs> So the lights go out in the mirror, so she kind of disappears, but she was wearing all sequin, like, sparkle. So the lights go out, and then she's still kind of sparkling throughout the mirror, just standing there. Like, you could just see. Yeah. The lights are out, but Alicia Keys is home. We do have some trauma talk. Everyone's mad about Maddie, but no one's mad at her, so that's nice. <laughs> You know, it was so interesting. Cause yeah, because we were talking about it yesterday, and I hadn't seen it, and then I saw it today, and I had thoughts. So you do your thoughts, and I'll do my thoughts. Well, I watched it with Curtis, and Curtis's friends are all straight guys. He's always only had straight male friends. Like, he's just very straight. That's how his mental illness yeah, takes that's, form. Yeah, and we've gotten a lot of help for that. And now he does tolerate Alexis in our house, so growth. Yeah, we had very different experiences. Like, I was watching it, and I was like, I love that everyone's supporting her. I don't love that it's, for me, part of me, um, yeah, bro me. Straight up. Oh, yeah. Straight up me. <laughs> Straight up me. Straight up me. <laughs> As a queer person watching, like, a queer show, it was like, you're so brave kind of thing. Well, but Curtis had a completely different thing of just like, instead of viewing it that way, you could view it as like, look at how the queer community is supporting others, blah, blah, blah. I think Which, like, I was, agree. I think that was more what it was like. I think it was, yeah, first no, of I all, agree. everyone like wanting to, uh, the show wanting to communicate to the audience, like, it's okay that sh she's here and we will welcome her because she's not, it's not her fault though. You know. She's straight. Unless no, it she did choose fault. it. She, maybe she chose it. Listen, I don't know how it works. Who asked her though? Was it RuPaul that asked her, like, are you concerned that you might not be straight once you leave here? <laughs> Which, you know, sexuality is fluid. Oh, and Diabetes said this too. She goes, um... Oh, the train. Sorry. We, and we're spending so much time talking about a straight person that when I hear noises, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I know, they're terrifying. I appreciate most of all that she's aware of, like, it has nothing to do with her and it's our own trauma as queer people that, like, just in the position she's in, yeah, she's going to have to take it a little. You step one toe out of line. Curtis goes, Maddie. okay, but are you, are you expressing your trauma or are you trying to traumatize her? And I was like, both. Let me live. Does he know you? Like, Ugh. speaking of traumatizing others, let's get into RuPaul's look on the main stage. Glitter and She likes her. <laughs> She just lip synced last week. The she fact did. that she's standing upright right now, she must be so <laughs> tired. She must be so tired. She looks gorgeous. And it's time for the Charisma Nerve Talent Show. All that's missing is you. Right? What's the tagline? A lot of dancers this episode. A, a lot, lot of dancers, of a lot of lip synkers. Yes. So I enjoyed everyone. Lip synced. Gorgeous, gorgeous, uh, truly gorgeous. Truly gorgeous. The, what a the great paint performer. is stunning. Oh, the paint. There's exciting. There's no, it's like it airbrushed. Uh, who said that? Uh, Carson. Not to be a Carson about it, but airbrushed. Excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this. I saw this on TikTok very young. The thing that I'm seeing the girls, the makeup girls on TikTok do to get the airbrush thing is that at the end of their makeup 
journey, they take powder, they put on their beauty blender, and they really press it firmly into their pores, so it kind of smooths the surface out. I mean, that's what I do with my power puff, powder puff. I don't, I don't like airbrush. But you do look at things. Yes. So then we go into Jasmine Kennedy, another really amazing high energy performance. Ugh. I have to say this was of all of the dance, this one got yeah. me most excited. I think them back to back was a really like exciting, thrilling start to this show. Yeah. Huh. When she would go into her split and kind of like tip her shoulder forward, it was so cute. I know, I was like, I do that all the time. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I fall, I go shoulder first. I love her. And then we get Diabetti, who is also lip syncing, but also kind of doing some magic. I it was not another lip sync, just another lip sync. She yeah. had comedy. Had we not just seen the first two, I think we would have been like, great. Cute, funny. Cute, funny, loved it. Yeah, there was and a honestly, little And honestly, that was kind of the response. It, yeah. It was just a really solid group of performers. Yeah, and it was so heavily dancer, 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 that if you're yeah. gonna come in, it needs to be so completely different. Yeah. We have Lady Camden. Now, this was a nod to center stage mm -hmm. and a nod to the red shoes. Mm -hmm. I did wonder- and to British people, just in general. I did wonder if she was gonna reveal into something. Cause it, have you seen center stage? Yeah. Yes, I'm gay. There's a huge reveal in that. She reveals. So she that reveals she's into British. yeah yeah yeah, and so I'm dancing, I'm dancing, I'm dancing. RuPaul being bored by ballet doesn't make sense to me. Ballet is exciting. Okay, personal experience. I've never been thrilled by ballet, but if I'm hosting a national TV show, would I be like, your skill is boring? No. Yeah, it was definitely. But she she's probably just trying to do like. Make me excited or whatever. Yeah, that's what it was. Oh, and then Deja Sky was next. This was really cute. I like that it was completely different from everything else. Yeah, just that space, that format. I think we learned it last week with Orion as well. Like it's just, it's it requires a lot from the audience that is very far away from you. It's the same thing with like, I hate audience interaction. Like I hate when you go to a comedy show and they make you interact with you, or with them. But if you're in a smaller space, it makes sense. Like yeah. you, you could tolerate it. But it was a really huge space and it just yeah I was bummed because overall I enjoyed it it was cute yeah and I think there's were there was more to go with like more jokes but I like that she had a, kind of a through line and then ended it all with the music and everything was to the music I think in the right setting that could have really worked yeah and truly I just really appreciated taking a break from lip syncing for just a second speaking of taking a break from lip sync yeah take a break from reality with Maddie Morphus playing guitar now if you remember last week Alyssa Hunter mimed playing the guitar yeah which, she actually played the guitar which is very difficult because mimes do they're in boxes at the time that they um do this was this was iconic Oh. This was hilarious to me. <laughs> I don't think it was supposed to be hilarious. I know, I know, but when she started like doing faces to the bang or whatever. I think Maddie has the tools of camp within her. However, I think she's still figuring out how to I need to see her personality. That's all. There wasn't a performance element to it. She's like, I don't play my guitar because it's cool. She yeah, she's she's doesn't have a huge presence so far. Right. Even with that's... her runway coming up with like Marie Antoinette, that's so great. But she's letting the look itself do more than it should have to. Yeah. But I, I think we'll get there. Again, she's entering a space where perhaps it just is gonna take her a little longer to Ooh. connect. Yeah. Why? I just realized we're gonna get the other team's reactions to Maddie <gasps> next week. Oh, and I that could about be really that. interesting. Huh. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, especially like Cornbread and Carrie. Trans women have not been allowed on this show for so long. And then a straight white man walks in. Yeah. I'm interested to see that. Drama. You know who stole the show? Oh, don't even get me Angeria started. Angeria Paris Van Michaels. Listen. She is pageant. Listen. She's got heavy pageant influence. Listen. She's got heavy old school drag influence. And she made a new number. She's so charming. She's so funny. She had a reveal. She had the smoke. She said, I need smoke. And she got it. I don't know that they gave it to her. She, I, she might have lit something on fire, to be honest. But that's what you got to do for art. I loved it. 
Original so song. So cute. Original song, so cute. Easily in uh, uh, glamour. Check something. Check. Other like, you thing? know it's when they Check. can, when, when you can immediately, like, jump onto a song first time hearing it. It's a good song. No! Do we want to get into the runway? Ooh, yeah. Runway is... Drag is good. Drag is good. Let's start with Gorgeous Georges. She also had a reveal. She's got purple, very royal, very elegant, very regal. She's a tiny woman, but she can move on this That's runway. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know that I... It, it, she's so... She's like a full-grown person. <laughs> She like, is, she's, she's just, polished. She's polished. She is larger than life. I love that mesh. I love that sequin, sequin stoned. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It's George's. gorgeous. Deja Sky coming out in this very regal ball lace. This is not a read. Okay. This is just a comment I know what you're on, gonna say. on fashion. I know what you're going to say. You do? Okay. It's the curtains from Hamburger Mary's. Uh, no, but I am talking about the fabric. Do you remember, this would have been 2005, 2004, 2005. I was very much in my Kirkland's phase. Do you remember when like that style was very much like popular for comforters? <gasps> oh, bitch, you know I, I wanted- a comforter that looked just like that. I wanted a comforter like this just so like bad. And I wanted curtains, because you know I had a four poster bed. What? When we moved from middle to high, we all got to pick new bed furniture. I got a four post bed, I got an armoire for Narnia, and I got a like a desk that had all these, like a wooden desk that had all these secret compartments in. And I begged, <laughs> I begged my mom to let me paint the room black and hang red velvet curtains on the walls and then curtains like these on my bed. I wanted to be like Hogwarts dormitories like Versailles. She wouldn't let me do any of those things, but I did get the four poster bed and it's still in my it's in my house. It's in my parents' house in Florida and I sleep in it when I go down there. How big was your room? Now this is really pretty. Her body looks great. I don't yeah. I personally don't like when you have a gown and the bottom of the gown is a different fabric than the top. I feel like it cuts it off and it makes it look diff like two different things. But that's my only note. I like the rest of it. I kind of see a spoiler when she does have to lip sync. When she took the comforter Coat off, off, I got the shape of it then. It wasn't until I saw it removed that I was like, "Oh, I actually really enjoy it more more so." Oh, I, great. Yeah. I dig her style in general. I think she's so, I love her paint, and I think Ugh, she's so iconic. fun. I can't wait to see more. From yeah. Her. Jasmine Kennedy, this is giving me real housewives of mm -hmm. Dubai. Big low hanging tits. Titty, titty, titties. I yeah. wonder if Chan, I wanna. Got mad. Oh, she probably got mad. <laughs> uh, this just. Auntie Chan is enraged. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I can hear from here. What's happening? Beautiful, beautiful body. I didn't, there was something about the fit of this that I didn't quite understand. So when they were co the complimenting it later, I was kind of like, huh. But she's beautiful and uh, it still looks proportionate even though they are push, like the titties are squished down so low. What, what, which honestly is sometimes it's what I like to see. I like to see yeah. them real squished down. I think in general, she has a very signature pageanty drag. She knows how to work the run. And the she, correct. It's not necessarily my style, but I think she does that well. Yeah. And honestly, after that performance, I, I, oh, I, I, I don't star. think I could say That's anything. a star. We're not, yeah. we're, and who are we? <laughs> Some would say a hamburger, an Emily in Paris. Did you know that? Two more seasons. No, I saw on TikTok today, very young. It's not Emily in Paris. Yeah, it's Emily in Paris. I knew that. You don't say that. I think I do sometimes. Roll the tape. Maybe I say it Paris around people that I don't think get it because I don't, I don't think, cause you've never watched. You don't it. think our viewers, you don't think I can get a rhyme? I listen, listen, I saw Eight Mile. Oh, I didn't. Speaking of 8 Mile, Maddie Morphosis. <laughs> God. Shocking. Heads will roll. Loved it. This was so... First of all, clearly she was crouched down. Like that, that, that was what but I was thinking She was time. crouched down the whole time. And I even think later she like kneed, kneeled when everyone else was standing. You'd have to. But she was holding her head for that long. Uh-uh. Keeping her arms. That means she has to... 
Maddie, if you if you're out there, will you show us the mechanic? We do a video on the mechanics <gasps> of this. Ooh, yeah. I want to know how long yes. you stood like this. Yes. I'm but interested. But just show us your body. I'm show interested. us what it. Show us your body. Show Maddie. Us your body. Maddie, you got a beautiful body. Show us your body. Um, this was so clever. I loved it. I loved it too. Angeria Paris Van Michaels, looking Ugh. so stunning. I love, I love, I love when there's a proper train of fabric. When you swish it, it doesn't all go to one side. Like this is not a square. This is and, beautiful. And it's that sequiny brocade kind of fabric, but it's not the the one we've seen everyone else wear. Like it's done so well. There's a there's a polish, okay? There's a Well, yeah. There's a you know, you know what I mean? She's the details with her are incredible. Yeah. And I love the giant fl flower. So I've been dog sitting this weekend. I've watched five seasons of Sex and the City. Season mm. three was big. They have a new one. With flowers. It's called yeah, no, Just I Like know. That. I've been, I've been watching big it. Big dies. We have Lady Camden as this kind of frozen peacock thing. I loved this. You like this? I did. I liked it a lot. When she turned around and she did that and it went yunk, yunk. I think you're jealous. I didn't hate it. I have to it. say, I think this is a new, I think this is your rival now. Cause she's British and she's a peacock. I liked how she said a little bit of a surprise and then did the thing as if we all didn't know that that was gonna happen. Alexis, I think you really need to take a look inside yourself. Maybe, maybe the course is too tight. Diabetti in this, what did she call it? A uh, Ribbon dancer dancing all around. I don't know, but it was ribbons. A tumble dress. Yeah, it was like corseted ribbons. I love the hair, I loved the makeup. It is giving Crystal Method a little bit, but that's her family member, it's okay. That, that was tough. They're in the same family, and she's her drag daughter. I don't think there's any way to get around that because that drag is still very fucking good. I think the the issue that we get into is that Crystal Method was so recently on Drag Race. I think if it were a couple years from now, it could be kind of seen as a fun nod. Yeah, but also they cast they probably cast her because of that. So no, no, no. I know, but I, I just I don't know that that's necessarily fair to say to her. Like I, the, I agree. I don't think it's fair to say to to her, Daya. But you just said it. It is unfortunate that it rips from the back. Otherwise, I think this is a really good look. I love it. It's I love cool. The hair. Yeah, I love it. And I also hair. love ribbon. Oh my God. So now what we do is the judges tell what? what they think about everyone. Oh yes, and it was so good. And so then we get the winner, the winner of both challenges. Great first showing. Angie, Angeria, Angeria. Paris Van Michael. Congratulations, couldn't have been more deserved. $5,000 in love traveler's you. checks. I think we've learned a lesson here from seeing both of those talent shows. Yeah, be really good. <laughs> That's it, original song, good performer, no comedy or no comedy skits. I think be good and be- And be good. I think be good. And just be and believe in yourself. Unfortunately, that means our bottoms are Daya Betty and Deja Sky. None of them were really bad, bad. No. But those two, I guess, were on the lower end of things because everyone yes. else was kind of the, right. the same, mm -hmm. you know, exciting level. Yes. So they have to lip sync to one of the <gasps> strangest they have to lip sync to a ballad in front of the person that wrote and sings the ballad. Strange. Don't tell, if you tell that story. No, I won't, I won't. It, you almost did. I was just gonna say, I've been there and it, there's <laughs> nothing more horrible. These girls handled it, these, these gals handled it way better than I ever could. Oh, the, the Alexis Bevels, Leona Lewis performance. Feud. It's not a feud. She definitely doesn't remember that night. You know how they were gonna try to do another, cause James Cameron did Titanic. Right. And then he had My Heart Will Go On Celine. So yeah. they were gonna do another kind of My Heart Will Go On style song for, for Avatar, Avatar. And it was Leona Lewis and it flopped <gasps> so hard. Song. Was it My Heart Will Go On, but it was written in Avatar? It was it was written in um what do they speak? They're called the they're called the um Blue Group. Navi. They throw tennis balls at people from out of town. The Blue Man Group. So we get we get this really bizarre <laughs> lip sync. Unfortunately, <laughs> Diabetti was diabeten. She by Deja Sky. The Deja Orange juice. What an odd song to have to lip sync to. 
It's odd. Yeah. I just would have kept falling at shoulder first, as I'm known to do. And then I would have got to go home and take a break, you know, taking the Eureka Victoria Scone edit. Diabetti, we love you. Ugh. So, so sad to see you go. But I really did not think that that was, she was going to be a one episode. Because in the Meet the Queens, she, she seemed really cool and yeah, with and it. Yeah, fun, and, and I agree. Is there something happening with like a chocolate bar this season? Like one of them can come back? With a chocolate bar? Yeah, in the Meet the Queens, they were like, there's a new twist this season. And that's why the theme was Candyland. Because they all have to eat chocolate bars? I think they, there's like a Willy Wonka magic chocolate bar. Oh no, they have to eat the RuPaul one? That, yeah, that you can like oh. get a golden ticket to come back in. Which makes sense because RuPaul is Willy Wonka crazy. Well, and the Willy Wonka money. She those, deserves it. The pit crew is kind of... Hot. Yeah, and Oopaloopas are also hot. Hot. I wanted to go down the washing machine. Remember when Vi when Violet? Oh, or no. the other one, Ermagard. What's her name? I want to bean feast. Jean. Oh, Jean Smart. Mm -hmm. When she, yeah, she mm -hmm. wasn't very smart, and Baruka. she went down the. Veruca Salt. See, that's that's a rookie mistake, okay? And I'm not saying that you're basic, but you are wearing a beret. Everyone wanted Paris. to be Veruca. Paris Van Michael. I. I didn't want to be Veruca. I wanted to ride down the. The goose thing, although apparently there was fire at the end of it. I wanted to be dark one of the three grandparents that stayed in the bed the whole time. <laughs> that's what I wanted to be. I was that's listening smart. to I was listening to That's Messed Up, the SVU yes, podcast. Of course. And Lisa Traeger said she was like, I got COVID, so I was just fully Willy Wonka's grandparents for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Because I often feel like that too, because I will be laying on the couch watching TV, just trying to keep my body horizontal. I can't do anything today. Like, I can't even get off the couch. Like, I couldn't possibly do the things I need to do today. And then Curtis is like, hey, I have food. I jump up and I do a little dance and I'm ready to get sucked in the river. What's wrong? What do you think this is? There's a stain. <laughs> Stop. I don't know what it is. I'm going to put you, I'm going to Veruca you. I'm going to burn you. Ew, don't stop smelling it. <laughs> that looks like cum. Well, it's, I don't think it is. Don't, you don't know, though. That was the end of the premiere officially. We've seen both episodes. Now we've met all the gals, and we're going to get to see them meet each other next time, which is very exciting. Very exciting, so make sure you join us for that. Just to, to make sure that you won't miss it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And oh, uh, yes. also the bell notification, because then you'll get notified, like, oh, shit, they did it, they did it again. Yes. Now, if you want uh, a, an exclusive message from exclusive. either of us, go to Cameo. We have Cameos on, and Ch Auntie Chan's on Cameo. Yeah. Um, or if you want one from uh, Darby and I together, with yeah. the logo and everything, oh, go to imhotheshow.com and get a shamio. Yes, we, we do it all. Of course, head on over to our Patreon. Our Patreon has Patreon only content, which includes stories about our exes, stories about our moms. Stories about our mom's exes. Stories about our mom's exes. And... Which turns out are our future exes because we're both from the South. Because we're our own grandpas. Yeah. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. All right. Well, I'm going to go de hamburger and she's going to figure out what that stain is. Stop <laughs> smelling it. I feel like it's You're putting it very cheese. close to your face. I feel like it's cheese. Honestly, probably. Goodbye. Where have you had that that you would have gotten cheese on it? Well, this is what I was wearing that night. I got drunk and went to Montrose Bird Harbor, Bird Sanctuary. You went. I didn't go to cruising. Suck. I didn't go to cruise. I went to go try and climb that like light pole on the end of the thing by yourself. Yeah, like it was this? a dark time. It's why I'm not drinking this month. This was our very We're first two queens here. singing at Elix Elixir. This is the last time I wore it, I think. So it could be just dirt.